what's happening in this video i'm going to show you the win ratio of this business how many campaigns you need to start how long you need to run them for and how much you need to spend in order to make profit every day <laughs> Hey guys, Nate here, and today's video, we're gonna just cover what, what, what's the actual numbers look like when, you, when you're starting to do your testing, when you're looking, when you're testing designs, when you're setting up in WC, when you're setting up on PPE, what, what does the numbers look like from a profit standpoint? What can you expect? How much money you need to spend up front? And uh, what's, what's the ratio of actual success you, you, know, you can get if you follow this process, the, the process I've laid out on this channel? What you can get so this video is going to be pretty short we're just going to go over some basic numbers uh and let's do it so uh let's say you do one niche per day for 30 days and you're going to do the five designs i recommend so five designs per niche so you're going to have about 150 designs uh that you're going to test over a course of 30 days now one out, one out of those five designs you're going to uh it's going to pass the test of PPE test, one of them will. Uh, if they don't pass, you still take the best one, you still set it up because sometimes the PPE number might not be exactly correct, you just still set it up on WC. So you're gonna have 30 designs set up on WC because you take one out of the five that you chose, that you tested, you move over to the WC campaigns and that's what actually starts selling. Now, from my experience, it's about 15 to 20% of all WC campaigns will succeed. So that means out of these 30 designs you set up over the course of a month, you're only going to have five winners selling at the end of the month. That sounds like really bad. From 150 down to five, right? I'm giving you super realistic, super conservative, super reliable numbers that you can actually base your business on and not saying, hey, you're going to find a super winner that's going to sell 200 units a day. And like, that's not realistic. Yes, though, that will happen. You will get designs that sell crazy awesome. But I'm telling you the average, the normal numbers, what you can expect if you do not find a super winner, right? So at the end of the month, you're going to have five winning designs. That means you're going to sell probably an average of 20 units per day for that design. So you're going to have about 100 sales a day after 30 days. And the average profit after your expenses, after ad cost, after everything, it's going to be realistically five to seven dollars profit. So that means you're paying your VAs, you're paying your, you're buying your product costs, you're spending your ads, you're doing all of your business expenses. You're going to have about five to seven dollars profit after everything. You're, you have your average order value, your, your um, upsells, everything is in place. All the tools you use, your Shopify expenses, everything, your, your design expenses, everything, right? You're going to have five to seven dollars profit. So now, uh, you're making 500 to 700 bucks a day. Who doesn't want that? Who doesn't want to make 500 bucks a day? Everybody. That would, that's, that would change everybody's, that would change so many people's, um, you know, standard of living is to make 15 grand a month, to make, to make, um, what is that? 18 grand a month. Yeah. So that's, or 20 grand a month, or whatever. 21. This is it 21. So, um, that's what I'm showing you. Like, if you follow this process of the, of the testing designs and following the proven system that I, I, I figured out over the last two years, then you can expect similar numbers to these. Cause this, this 15% of the 30 that you have already won. So you tested, you know that these PPE tests are winner designs, but it still happens that only 15% of the winner PPE ones actually start making consistent sales. Yeah, so maybe maybe 50 or 80% actually make a sale or two, but they'll die out. I'm talking about 15% will actually make consistent sales for a few weeks at least, right? So that is where we get this 20, 20 units a day uh, on average. So some are going to make 10 units a day. Some are going to make 50 units a day. Some make 100 if you find a really, really good design. So then, like I said, after a month, you're making 500 bucks a day profit. Now what you want to do is you just want to repeat this, repeat this process over and over again, uh, compound. So the next month, you know, you still have your previous month ones still working, still running. Maybe they're not doing 20 units a day. The second month, maybe they're only doing 10 units a day on average, uh, the second month. But you know what? You take that 10 units and then you add the new winners from the new month. Now you're doing 30 units a day, uh, total and you have 10. So now you're doing 200 to 300 sales a day. So now you're doing over a thousand dollars profit per day, per day. And now what you want to do is you obviously want to hire staff, enjoy your success, sit back and go to the beach.
okay, don't uh, sit back and go to the beach. You want to keep your machine running. You want to keep making sure everything's optimized. But this is the idea of what you can expect for numbers uh, when you're doing this custom merch store and your products and your profit and your expenses. So take this. I hope hopefully this helps clarify things what you can expect. And like I said, these are conservative, so you should be able to hit these numbers. These are the numbers that I'm doing. These are the numbers I I have. So uh, go ahead and uh, set it up and let me know in the comments if you're experienced, if you're similar to these numbers and, and how the things are. All right, guys, that's the end of the video, and I will see you tomorrow.